Hey everyone, this is Patrick from Filmlight and welcome to another tutorial video. This video is all about the integration of Frame.io into Baselight and how to use the new features. Integration was done using the Filmlight API and we have extended the API to allow custom menu items to be added directly into Baselight and Daylight. We will look at installing the Frame.io script using the new upload feature, as well as downloading comments and marks to your base light or daylight scene. I will not spend too much time explaining Frame.io itself, so you're welcome to go to Frame.io and see what features are available. To begin, open base light or daylight and then proceed to the scripts view. This will give you a list of installed scripts a view of the log and also packages tab where scripts can be installed and removed. In the packages tab, you will see a Filmlight Frame.io package available for installation. Click on the install button. After installation, check the log for any issues and check the scripts tab to see the installed script. You'll notice there is also a version number for that script. Close the script for you and check the base light or daylight menu. You'll see there's a new entry, Login to Frame.io. And in the Scene menu, there is a new Frame.io Actions menu containing two sub-menus, Upload Video and Comments, and Download New Comments. In order to use Frame.io, we begin by selecting to log into the Frame.io account. A browser page will open with the logon and a request to allow Baselight or Daylight access to your account. Note that after logging in, you will automatically be logged in next time you open Baselight. If you do not want this to happen, ensure that you log out of the Frame.io account before exiting Baselight. Once logged in, you are able to submit scenes for upload to Frame.io. The following marks are supported for upload. Client marks and flags from client view sessions, shot marks, and timeline marks. From the Frame.io side, most marks are supported, including spanned marks that indicate a duration, marks with no timecode that will be put at the beginning of the timeline, normal comments, as well as team comments. Emojis and annotations will not be displayed in Baselight, but comments associated with annotations will be shown. In order to upload a scene, you'll be required to create a render preset that will be used to render the frame IO video upload. The preset must be a movie format and you have to ensure it is compatible with frame IO. Currently, you are not able to define a frame range to render, so your entire scene will always be rendered and uploaded. Make sure the correct timecode source is used for the upload by checking the timecode source in the metadata settings in the render view. The names and destination of the rendered files are set in the presets. Rendered files will not be removed, but could be overwritten. To upload, choose the Upload Video and Comments menu item in the Scene menu. You will be presented with a dialog box confirming the account, team, and project. You'll also specify the delivery preset to use and which comments to include with the upload. Once these choices are made, submit the request to the queue where it will be processed and uploaded to Frame.io. In the unlikely event of an upload failing, we will automatically retry up to 10 times before cancelling the upload. Comments for the current scene can be downloaded by choosing Download New Comments from Frame.io Actions on the Scene menu. There are two download options. From the scene, lists all available videos that were uploaded from the current scene. If any previously uploaded videos were removed from Frame.io, they will be listed as unavailable. They can be removed from the scene and will no longer be listed as a comment source. Once the invalid videos have been removed from the scene database, you are now free to choose the video that you would like as the source for your comments. 
and you can click OK and the comments will be added to the timeline. And remember to use the new Marks and Client Event View to view, edit and manage the comments that were added. The second available option from external source allows you to search any accessible Frame.io project listing video files that were not submitted from the current scene or that were submitted by someone else. The length of each video in frames and how that compares to the current scene is displayed as well as any available comments. These can then be added to the timeline. Well, that's all there is to it. We hope you enjoy the feature. Please check out the release notes to keep up with any new features and visit filmlife.ltd.uk for more training and tutorials. Mm -hmm.